Hey everybody, James with Love My Pups, My Breeder Supply. Yes, you know the beginning part. Subscribe to us. We'd really like that. It makes us want to do more of these videos for you. And go check out My Breeder Supply. We have lots of wonderful products that will help you raise beautiful puppies successfully with the minimum amount of, uh, of problems. Okay, Lady Gaga. Dog water got shot. Stole the dogs. What the hell's going on with the world? Well, the answer is the world's a mean place. So I thought I haven't done a video on security and I think it's an important topic and I think it's one that we need to talk about. So, I raise French Bulldogs. These are expensive dogs. Anytime that you've got expensive things, people may want to come and steal it from you. And they are quite prepared to stick a gun in your face, maybe even shoot you to get that done. So this is a conversation about the things that you should be doing to give yourself a certain amount of protection to try to avoid these very disastrous situations. So, um, let's start by how do you arm yourself and what can you do security wise? So, um, obviously, you know, handguns and shotguns, you know, the, these are things that, uh, you know, we physically own, we're in Oklahoma, we, are, we, are, we can carry those things in our state. Um, and uh, certainly, you know, if somebody comes to our place to do harm to us, uh, we aren't gonna stand by and just uh, let that happen. But I'm not an advocate of guns as being the, your primary solution here. That is, the problem with guns is, is they tend to, if you haven't been trained using a gun, you're unlikely to be able to use it effectively. You may get the gun used on you. You might shoot the wrong person. There's all kinds of things about guns that generally, we're gonna put a, an X mark on it. There's all kinds of things about guns that are problematic. So, and there's a pen that doesn't work, wonderful. Let's try a different pen. Um, let's do a pink one, that'll work. So, <clears throat> oh, an orange one. Not, not, a, not a big fan of guns, but I think that, uh, you know, as, as a final deterrent, if you're in a really terrible situation, the gun's probably something you should have. But there are other things that you should have. I think that one of the best things that you can have is either some pepper spray, or even better, and even cheaper, is some good old wasp spray that's got a range of 20 foot or more. You can really zap somebody with this shit it's like $3 a can. It's got a shelf life of years. You're gonna use it anyway because you're gonna have insects when you're barbecuing. But you can get this out and you can spray somebody with it. And if you sprayed the wrong person, it ain't the end of the world. But I can promise you, if I spray this in your face right now, I'm gonna disable you. And whatever you're doing, you're gonna stop doing. You're gonna be worried about getting the shit out of your eyes. I like this as a solution. It's anybody can use it. You don't have to know how to use a weapon and you can use it incorrectly and not cause loss of life or get sued. I love this. Have a can of it in your car. Somebody comes up to you that's doing shit you don't like. If you pull a gun, you've got a problem on your hands. If you pull this out and spray somebody and you spray the wrong person, you know, it might, it might be a bad day for somebody, but nobody's gonna go to hospital and nobody's gonna end up dead. I like this. That is something, if you haven't got it, you take nothing else away from this little video, that is the stuff that you should have and have cans of it, it's dirt cheap. Right. So the next thing is, so I'm just gonna put down here insect spray because I think that is some good stuff, insect spray. That's a, that's a, a, that's a must. That's so ridiculously cheap, so easy to use. If you don't have it, go get some. So the next one is security cameras. And I meant to bring one up here with me, security cameras. They're cheap. I mean, you can buy a wireless security camera for 20 to 50 bucks and they're pretty easy to install. And, you know, the, the, the thing about security cameras is if they're not prominently located where people can see them, they're an after the effect thing. If somebody stole puppies from you, then maybe you have a record of their vehicle or the people who did the, the crime, and maybe you can go to the police and get someone with it. But it's not that effective. You know, this is, we want to do all the things that we can like the insect spray to stop this thing from happening in the first place. The one thing about security cameras, and I've got them all over my property, and I've got them at my gate, and I've got, and I've got signs up there that tell people that, hey, you're on camera, to our friends, come in, to everybody else, please leave. 
let people know that you're serious about security because we'd much rather they went off to the next house. I don't mean that in a bad way, but we don't want the problem here. We want them to go somewhere else. Prominent security cameras. You can have some that are hidden as well, but I think that you should have security cameras that are highly visible and people can see that they are being recorded. Okay, then the next thing is, is where you conduct business. So whether you're buying or selling puppies, you gotta remember that somebody can, let's say that you're gonna buy a puppy, right? You're gonna go meet somebody, they say, oh, meet me down at third and fifth at three o'clock this evening, or, or, or seven o'clock this evening. And uh, the dog's $20,000, and you've got $20,000 worth of cash in your pocket. You're asking for somebody to stick a gun in your face and take the $20,000 and leave, and maybe even shoot you in the process. Because remember, Lady Gaga's dogs were stolen this way. So, be smart about the places that you're gonna meet people. The very best place to meet somebody is at your local police station, in the parking lot. Nobody's gonna do some stupid shit in the parking lot. That protects you as a buyer and it protects you as a seller. So if I'm buying a puppy from you and I say, hey, yeah, I'll meet you, but let's meet in the, in the police station. Me as the seller, I'm like, this guy's smart or this girl's smart. They're protecting themselves and they're protecting me. I feel much more comfortable about handing over somebody a dog and taking money in a parking lot of the police station. Um, so it protects both parties. And so if anybody complains about that, walk away from the deal. That is a warning, walk away from the deal. If you get bad feelings on any of this stuff, walk away from the deal. So other good places are, you know, potentially Walmart parking lots. You know, these places are not bad, but they're certainly not as good as where you've got law enforcement right, in your, right there. So, you know, the worst places to meet people are at night in some lonely place in a park or something. These are just terrible places to meet people. So just people come into your house. This is problematic. So, you know, if somebody's coming to your house, you know, you need to do a little bit of vetting on the person to make sure that, so, you know, you think that this is an honest and reliable person. And then don't be the only person there. Have somebody else present. Preferably to have a big burly, bearded, fat lumberjack man present if you can. Not me. But, you know, have two, three people there to greet your customers, say hi to them. Maybe even have somebody in another room just listen to the conversation. You can dial a number. I mean, I don't want to get paranoid on this. And the majority of the dealings that you do are going to be fine. But it just takes one to ruin somebody's life. So do it in a, in a sensible place. So this is, we're going to put this one down as location. Choose a suitable location where there's a lot of people around maybe even some police officers. So location, this is something you control. If it's in your house, don't do it by yourself, especially if you're a woman, do not go to do it by yourself. Be careful about how you put down things like your street address and phone numbers. I see people who are selling dogs and then you see the next picture, they've got $100 bills, they're showing off the $100 bills. Well, good for them, but it's not a good smart move to show people that you've got a lot of money in your house. We don't keep cash in our house for this reason. We don't, we don't um, talk about this. We don't um, brag about it. Um, it's all my transactions are all done where the money does not stay on our property and I don't even want people to know where I live and I only give that information out to people who I know who've already contacted me and I've vetted them. All right, um, all right what else we got here? Um, I think we're probably covering most of this. Um, I'm going to do another video after this on specifically scams um, from two different directions. You as the buyer, you as the seller, the things to watch out for, because it's something that people, I promise you, if you haven't been scammed before, somebody's going to try it on you. And if you, uh, you very likely will get caught up on some of these things. Um, yeah, um, I think we're good to go on this. Um, I was going to say something else and that's completely escaped me because I'm getting old. Um, well, it don't matter. Yeah, all right. So again, thanks for watching. Remember, my British supply, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us, we'd appreciate that. And please be safe, be safe with the dogs, be safe with the transactions, and just be smart about this. And just think the what if, my wife is very good. She has this little radar in her, where I, I, I will do stupid stuff. I mean, there's one time when the doorbell rang at three o'clock in the morning and I went there with just my shorts on and answered the door. And she's like, James, what the hell are you doing? You don't do that. And she's exactly right because these people needed help and it was great, but they could just as well be somebody who wanted to have access to our house and hurt us or steal our stuff. If you do get in a situation 
where somebody has got you cold and they're going to steal what you've got. Let them freaking have it. Don't go get into a gun battle. Don't go get into a fight. Let the law sort this out after the fact. Do not, you know, just try not to put yourself in a situation where this ever happened in the first place. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.